good morning. We are. We're in St. Genevieve, Missouri. That dirty green. There it is. Oh, getting our coffee going. We're getting ready to head down to unload our two big old blocks. It ain't no 454, but I guess at some point some dinosaur made a turd out of them. <laughs> oh man. Rough night of sleeping. It parked in my usual spot. There's cars parked here. And uh Cars are parked at where I like to park. I usually like park cars. Park, uh, I usually like to park a couple spots over because, you know, over here my truck's kind of leaned like this, which puts me sleeping upside down. A couple spots over, it's kind of leaned like that. Uh, puts me on my feet down. I sleep really good like that. Well, there's the big blocks. <laughs> That one's 6.8 ton, and that one is 17.5, I believe. We uh, still only got two chains on the front, and we got four back here. I knew this sucker was big, but I didn't, didn't realize how heavy it was till he gave me the paperwork. <laughs> but we're gonna go get rid of it. All right, we are heading down the road. It just got dirty again. There was a little rain yesterday morning, or a little fog, but uh, we're gonna make our guess. Roughly, we have about 43,000, 45,000 on. We got a light load, supposedly. Uh, we are, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess 74,000 is gonna be our gross weight. It's the hard part about this quarter where we load at, they typically only load two blocks like you've seen. And they're either right on the weight or they're way off. But with Pat loading, uh, Pat's the older guy, been doing it since the Stone Ages. I mean, he, he worked with Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble, you know? And uh, so he, he's got a lot of experience. He's usually pretty good at on the weight. So, and he's got a lot going on. I mean, say, say a, prayer, a prayer for my old buddy Pat. He got a lot going on. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> he, he's always been really good on his weight. He's like Brian. I mean, sometimes the loader might be a little off on her scale, but for the most part, Pat's usually on the money, so I'm going with 70, 74,000. That, that, that's my guess, 74,000. Ah, the sun's killing me. See, crap, like right in my eyes. I know you guys can't tell, I got my hat brim down. So the sun ain't completely blinding me. It hit me off the hood and the... Get a hooded truck, it'd be cool they said. <laughs> Look, my old truck had a slanted nose. I didn't usually have a, an issue with the sun beaming me right in the eyes. Nitly. waiting on my turn to load we got down here you can see our big crane there's hot sh two three hot shots here two getting unloaded one getting loaded another truck pulling behind me this place is busier than one legged man in a butt kicking contest i'll tell you that what right now 
there it is. Whoop, there it is. Don't be hating. <laughs> Said he needs a ride. Take it easy. <laughs> this would be a boring drive up here in Chicago. What for all the bonehead drivers out on the road? Bad gum. I'll tell you what, there's never a shortage on this road. The time you think you're away from all, you find another group. Never fails. We made it 
finally we uh when i got to the end of the exit ramp i had eight minutes left on my electronic log book um, pull in set the parking brake and I, if I wouldn't have went on duty, you know, yard move when I did, I would have made it here with four minutes to spare. That is it. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, e-log has no give to it. Um, there's like no room for air. I don't care what anybody says, there's not any room for air. Uh, some people say you got a trip plan. You got a trip plan. That is correct. You do have the trip plan, but yeah, I mean you got to go through the alphabet on plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Because trucking, you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of an outlaw on the e-logs. I mean, if I'm close to where I'm going, within 30 minutes, I'm just going to keep going. Usually, it don't make me no difference because you know. I don't know. Might be a little weird, but they got exemptions for agricultural, uh, agricultural. Is that the right way to say it? Uh, transportation and natural disasters. I mean, there's all sorts of exemptions for log. You know, guys not having to run an electronic log or abide by the hours of service. So it's just another way for them to write you another ticket govern you big government you know <laughs> but uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up uh, it's nine o'clock at night mm -hmm.